In today's Eye on Health, we are talking about sleep. We all need it, but you might be doing things to sabotage your sleep, or maybe you have a condition, a medical condition that can be treated that's preventing you from feeling rested. Well, AHN has sleep labs as part of their Center for Sleep Medicine. You go there, they monitor you, and they try to figure out what's going on. So I decided to see what they'd learn about me. So we're going to measure your scalp so that we know where to place the electrodes. They hook up electrodes and other devices to monitor everything from brain waves to your heart rate to breathing, even your leg movements. I'm at one of the sleep labs at the AHN Center for Sleep Medicine. This is for the chest. Technicians Rick and Patty then put straps around my chest to measure my effort to breathe. The other way? Yeah. Okay. I can go the other way. They guide me into bed attached to dozens of wires and close the door. I close my eyes and eventually drift off. So now he's bona fide asleep. He's in, he's in stage two sleep. While I'm getting some Z's, their equipment is getting info, watching what my body does. That's a sleep spindle, so he's asleep here. Dr. Daniel Shade is the medical director for AHN Sleep Medicine. There are many sleep disorders that we can diagnose. Most common is sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is dangerous. Your upper airway gets floppy and blocks your breathing. As that airway closes off when you're sleeping, your oxygen drops. And that starts to make your heart and every or organ in your body suffer. The good news is there are ways to treat it. This would go like this. Like this new smaller mask attached to a machine or a retainer in your mouth. And down the line, five or 10 years, pills that'll stabilize your airway. We can also diagnose various movement disorders, perhaps when people are sleepwalking or talking. Um, different things like narcolepsy, where you have this urge to fall asleep. We're looking at the chin, uh, his legs, nasal oral airflow. They don't see anything serious with me, but they watch on cameras and monitors as I'm in stage two sleep, where some of us spend 50% of the night. <laughs> And even though I like to deny it, they find proof that I do indeed snore. They can even chart the snoring. There's a snore. But let's move on. Dr. Shade tells me we do things that sabotage our sleep and don't even realize it. I think the number one mistake is not prioritizing it. He says stay away from phones and computers before bed that give off blue light. Avoid having the TV on. Keep the room cool in the 60s. In fact, when it comes to temperature, he has a trick for falling asleep. He says you start to sleep when your body temperature curve starts to drop. So... A warm bath at night, you know, get your body temperature up and as it starts to decline about an hour after your bath or your shower, you start to tend to want to fall asleep. It's an old wives' tale, but it works. Speaking of tales, warm milk might actually work because it's warm and calming, but he says there's no actual chemical reason for it to help. And as for alcohol, not a great solution. As you metabolize it later in the night, you have sleep disruption. And catching up on sleep on the weekends really work. Metabolically, all the stuff that sleep deprivation does to you, that keeps going on like gaining weight. And you start to eat more, you eat worse food, and then you're not usually moving as much because you're tired. And is it a good idea to sleep with a pet? Dr. Shade says, generally, they disrupt your sleep. There are times when uh, the pet's just gonna be insistent or you're used to it and it makes you feel comfortable. But in general, they, they, can, be some, they can be disruptive. And when it comes to napping, don't take one too close to bedtime or for too long we would recommend about 20 minutes. And here, this is the airflow. Speaking of naps, I got a good one in their sleep lab. In fact, before I knew it, it was over. David? Yeah. Hi, David. Hi, it's Rick. The study's over now. Hey. Oh. How are you? OK, well, I, I fell asleep. <laughs> It was over before I knew it, really. Like, I had just gotten to good sleep. There and is, then they come and wake you up. There is nothing like being woken up. I mean, really, because you feel, especially when something like that is happening, you feel, like, disoriented and, like, you're supposed to. Right. Yeah, like, no, I'm awake. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm what's here. Going on? <laughs> you know, and normally you would spend all night. But yeah. we just wanted to see how a sleep lab works. So, really, I just took the nap there just for a little bit. It felt like, to me, that I had fallen asleep at least twice. But really what I was doing, like, they were watching all this. Like, you can hear him do like the play-by-play -play, and he's like all right he's falling asleep nope he woke himself back up 
is fall to sleep. Well, because I got so excited that I was falling asleep. That you would that make I was a like, back Ooh, up. yeah. Now, some people may not feel comfortable being, you know, in the office setting. Maybe they want to try right. this at home. Can you do that? In fact, they really want to stress. You can. They have an at-home testing mm -hmm. situation where they can work with that. Uh, sometimes you're going to have to come into the sleep lab, though, uh, depending on and getting diagnosed with stuff. We had a good chuckle, too. When you were getting into bed, she kind of had to guide you which way but you're like attached to all these wires yeah. and you don't want to pull anything off and they like glue this stuff. I mean, it doesn't hurt at all, like, sure. but but you just don't want to like mess up their apparatus there. Uh, but it was weird to know that people were watching you. Yeah. Yet I am so tired working for the morning news, like because we get up at two in the morning that literally yeah. I was like, all right, today they're going to pay me to take a nap. <laughs> he, he posted a picture and I said, oh, nap looks good like a caveman <laughs> like mm, nap. no yes. but you know what the whole thing was fascinating what they're able to yeah. diagnose what they're able to see while you're sleeping it's really it's it's incredible well that was a good one and remember to keep watching for our eye on health series right here on ptl it happens on wednesdays it's brought to you by highmark blue cross blue shield together with allegheny health network for your health